I'm here with Friedelin Frost, the 2008 World Boomerang Championships individual champion and also team member of the German national team, the B Motions, who also captured the first place in team competitions. Um, just how does it feel? Oh, it's, it's uh, like a dream come true. I mean, we've had a perfect tournament out here. First of all, we're glad to be here in Seattle. We had a perfect venue here and it just all worked out right. I mean, during the team competition, which went on for four days, um, we, we had a soft start. We didn't get into the tournament the way we wanted to. But then from the second day on, we, we came back strong and we really dominated the, the upcoming three days then. So that brought us the the sixth actually the sixth in, uh, team title so it's the second hat trick that we've done um, which is which is just great so we're very very happy that that uh, we, we won that and also during the individuals I have to admit that I that, that I came here as the as the reigning champion but I didn't have any expectations um, I, I my, the, the only thing I promised myself is to not get mad when something doesn't work out right so I was in the right mood I was a bit relaxed and uh, everything worked out right. I mean, whatever I touched there worked out right, and I had a really probably my best tournament ever. Um, I won by over 40 points, which is just unbelievable. It, it has never happened, and uh, so we were able to defend the team title. I was able to defend the individual title. So it's just a perfect tournament. Yeah, uh, it's just you did an incredible job. I got to see your uh, trick catch. Um, you got a perfect score. You got to keep going. Correct, and um, you know, can you just talk about that for a little bit? Or? Yeah, absolutely. Trick catch is, is actually one of my favorite events. It's about the, the, the idea of trick catching is um, the acrobatics in there. It is uh, you throw the boomerang uh, a couple times, and each catch you have to do is with increased difficulty. And uh, so that always used to be one of my absolute strength. And then last year I started to to. to to, uh, to drop boomerangs there. I have no idea why. It was probably all mental. And uh, when I got here, I thought, oh, trick catch is going to be hard for me. During team competition, it, uh, it, it, it went very, very well. I had the best scores in the team, so that really helped me to, um, to, to get my self-confidence back. So I went into that event in individuals with a lot of confidence, and uh, I was able to score the perfect 100 and keep on going. So just another another perfect event for me. That's great. Uh, I believe you got five first place out of six. It was in uh, on the individuals and. In was that? Um, yeah, it was. was that? It was, <laughs> it was actually. Incredible. Yeah, we had we had six events overall, and uh, I had three firsts, um, one second, one third, and one twelfth, which was the one that that hurt, but just a little, little bit. The rest was all close to perfect. So, it's it, like I've said before, it's almost the perfect tournament for me. I I don't think um, I've ever had such an important tournament running so well. And I don't think it has ever been like that at a World Cup. It's all usually it is like uh, you try to be, you try to stay in the top ten, top fifteen in all the events because there's so many good throwers. It's a very different level of competitiveness and of um, 
uh, of, of, what is that word? I'm I'm missing the word of intensity and all the the abilities of the of the throwers from all over the world. So you try to to not drop in any of the events, but almost to win all the events is just different. So that was perfect. <laughs> That's great. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, Team B Motions, you know, just did a really good job as well. And I'm really uh, just I heard you guys dominate it. It was uh, an amazing, amazing tour de force even. Um, this is the fourth time, right? Uh, fourth time that the that a team competition or a team has won the world championship. Six, sixth, actually. Six. <laughs> yeah, it's the second hat trick. We won first. First year we won was '96, and since it's every two years, it was '96, '98, 2000 that we won. 2002 we had the World Cup in Germany, and the Americans won. They beat us. Um, so then we changed the team name. We changed from Young Guns to Emotions, and uh, we figured, okay, this is a new start for us. So we were able to win in, in uh, 2004, also 2006, and now we defended the title in 2008. Um, if you could say something to uh, young kids or, or people new to the sport, what would you what would you tell them? Uh, the, what the the beauty about boomerangs, if you ask me, is is uh, threefold. On the one hand, it's like in any other sport, it's like going for that extra tenth of a second, going going for that one more point than the others. So it's very competitive, very intense, um, which is which is really uh, special. But it's it's like in any other sport. Then there's another uh, dimension, and it's the creativity and all the the, the uh, ideas you can bring in because we make our the, our boomerangs ourselves. So you have to stay within some limitations. You have to remember a framework where that is allowed on on the field in a competition. Um, the the way the boomerangs are shaped, they look like, but you. You have a lot of freedom there and you can really come up with ideas and boomerangs that suit your personal throw. So you can improve by doing that. And that is that is different from other sports. I mean, a tennis player would never really make his own tennis racket or a soccer player would never sue his own soccer ball or so. So that is very, very special for us. And the third part is... Since we are a small sport and an amateur sport, it's a pure amateur sport, there's no professionals in there. Um, the boomerang family, and I'm saying that um, by intent, is really a global family. It's a big group of friends and there's, it is such a fair sport, there's no money involved. Um, and you get to know people from really every single part of the world. And when you travel, you can always visit these people. Um, you learn so much about different cultures, about um, different languages, behaviors, that is special. So it's really threefold what makes boomeranging so so different. All right, thank you, Frito, uh, and congratulations once again on, on for the German much. team, and thank you. All right. All right.